Hi, ladies and gentlemen, a very short, but I'm sure will be very appreciated video. I actually posted one of these uh, a couple of years ago when there was a pen and ink uh, conflict, a Windows pen and ink conflict with your Wacom drivers. This is, how, this is a video for potentially, hopefully, uh, fixing an either wobble or lag issue with your Cintiq, with your Wacom Intuos, one of the two. Um, the reason I have this page open is just to show you that I'm currently running on driver 6.3.31-4. Okay, you can see it over here. And the date of this video is October 24th, 2018, a couple of days before Halloween. Happy Halloween, everybody. Um, so how are you going to do this? It's a, it's a multi-step process. I'm just going to demonstrate what your issue might be, just in, just so in case you're familiar, just so you can familiarize yourself with what the issue might be. Although this fix should take care of both. Um, there's one of two issues, wobble or lag. Wobble, the issue I had, was where you're trying to draw a nice smooth line, but what you end up with is this little wobble in the line like this. I thought I drank too much coffee, but then I realized it, it was the pen itself, okay? So you end up with this slight wobble to the line. Very annoying when you want to draw smooth lines. A lag issue is more likely if you're trying to draw a nice curve, but instead it creates these whoop, these jumpy, things to it or maybe you're halfway through a curve and then it does this that's usually a lag issue so what are the what's the steps to take number one very important is you unplug the usb and the hdmi now if you're working on two display if you're working on two displays you can unplug both and just do all of this from your second display if you don't then uh, you only want to unplug your usb because if you unplug your hdmi you won't have a monitor to work with my guess is you probably do have two screens. You're probably not using your Cintiq as your primary monitor, but just in case. The HDMI is for the display, the USB is for the tablet uh, functionality. So you want to unplug USB, very important. The second thing you're gonna do is stop the service, the tablet service. What you're gonna do is you're going to, uh, sorry, you're gonna hit Control-Alt-Delete, like that, if you're on a PC. You're gonna go into your task manager, you're gonna click on your services tab, and you're just going to select anywhere here and just hit TA, as in Tommy Apple, TA, and that'll take you to, should take you to, tablet services, tablet input service, there we go, tablet input service. You're gonna right click and choose stop. That's also important. Third step, you're going to remove your preferences. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna open up your Window, your, your Windows tab here, you're gonna click here, you're gonna click the W for Wacom, you're gonna open up your tablet folder, and here under Wacom Tablet Preference File Utility, you're going to right click on it and open it as administrator. You're gonna choose yes, and you're going to remove both my preferences and all user preferences. When you do, you should, it should by default open up your add or remove programs, your programs folder, um, uh, in which case you're going to just scroll down, look for Wacom tablet, and you're going to right click and uninstall. You want to do a full uninstall. Remember, you need to have your USB unplugged for this to work properly. Okay. The other way you, you might be able to do it is just to go into add or remove program. So I just tap, the, I just type that into the bottom and you're going to scroll down to W and look for your Wacom tablet. Where you at here? Wacom tablet, and you're going to choose uninstall. That also should open up your prog your programs folder, where you your programs folder where you'll be able to um, uh, right click and uninstall your Wacom tablet. Once all that's done, you're going to be prompted to reinstall to restart your computer. You restart it, and once you've restarted it, you're going to go back to this page. You just if you want to find it, you just go Wacom driver update, drivers Wacom. You find the latest one. Um, and uh, you'll notice that on the Wacom site in the last year or so, they've, they've consolidated all of the drivers into only a few. Before it used to be all of the products. You have to scroll forever. Now it's right here, right at the top, Windows or Mac. You're gonna download it and install it. Once you download and install it, it's gonna prompt you once again to reinstall, to reinstall, to restart your computer. And when you restart your computer, uh, once you re restart your computer, you're going to plug the USB and or your HDMI back in for your Cintiq or for your um, Wacom tablet. And that should fix the issue. If all works well, you should be able to draw a nice smooth line like this and curves 
without any issue whatsoever, all right? So hopefully this helps to fix your issue. Uh, if you run into any others or if there's any other fixes you can suggest, just let us know in the comments below. That way uh, everybody can uh, benefit from your knowledge. Take care.